Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to do five 3x3 example solves. I'm using CFOP and my global is low to mid 7. So let's get into it. So the first scramble, uh, it's not the best. Um, I would probably go for white here, so I would uh, solve the cross like this, I would solve this red cross piece, then do a B2, R2, and now I, this wasn't the best combo, so I did not see the first pair in inspection, but at this point, I can see that I have this pair solved on the bottom layer, and also, if I do an T prime F two D, I can uh, get this pair into a reasonably decent position as well, so the red and green one. So, in this case, I would actually do the red and green one first because it's a keyhole case, and I, it sets up into this frame mover also. My third pair, these two pairs are quite similar, so. It's really up to you which one you choose, but I would most likely go for the red and blue one. And now I just have this one as my last pair. Oh, and the Jeeper. Second solve. Uh, this is quite a bit better, so... I see this pair which is solved already and when I'm doing the cross this will be preserved so my cross solution would be the, uh, I would solve this blue edge first and this red edge after that do a R prime D to R and I can do a D or Y D U and in this case a Y D U is better and the next pair I can either solve this one or this one. I would prefer the uh, blue and orange one just because it sets up this one as well. And in this case, I'm a bit lucky because I, again, I can do a multi slotting case. So I solve this, I, I do this frame mover, which gives this one a frame mover. Now I just do all and J fun. That scramble. Um, this is not too nice, but I would most likely look for this pair. So my cost solution would be the following. So I would solve this. Uh, I in this case I'm doing uh, yellow. So. I would solve this orange piece next to the green one, do a D prime, solve the red one. And now once I insert this one, I will have uh, basically this corner is gonna be here and uh, this edge is gonna stay in the same position. So, and now I have the this pair, which is actually a F to gen F prime case. So, the corner is here and the edge is here and uh, I can just an F insert F prime. My next pair would be this one, which I would solve like that. Uh, in this case, I would probably go for EO. So I would solve this pair first. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to skip this case, but I would just Insert the con uh, the edge and do a commutator, so like that. Now just an antecedent from the back and the U prime. Okay. Fourth scramble. This is pretty easy. This is gonna be a frame move. Ah uh, no. This is, basically, it's gonna end up like this. So, 
my solution is solve the orange and red ones first. Now do a D prime, and I have the co uh, and insert the green edge. Do a D two U two solve this pair into the back. Now I have a free mover, and then this will be my third pair and my last pair. Well, into E prime. And the last example solve. Okay, this is nice. This is gonna stay preserved. So for the cross, I would do an R prime, do a D U prime, F. Now I would actually do a D two. So I would rotate. Just actually, I wouldn't rotate. I would just insert the solve pair into the back so I can create an X curse and I would just solve this last curse edge like that. My uh, second pair would be uh, most likely these two and I would insert it with wide moves so instead of rotating and doing free move I just do it like that. My third pair would be these so solve them like that and my last pair Oh, okay, so these were my five example solves. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.